100 years ago, Americans did not eat as heavy breakfast as they do now. Breakfast in the 1920s was like maybe a roll and some coffee until one man's job was to get bacon on the plate. Edward Bernays, known as the father of public relations, faced the challenge, boosting bacon sales for the Beech Nut Packing Company. Bernays hypothesized that if you can understand psychology, then you can manipulate consumers' behaviors and choices. And the strategies are still employed by the meat industry today. Ironically, Bernays turns to physicians to make the argument for bacon. He asked his doctor if he could contact 5,000 other physicians to confirm that a heavier breakfast was better than a lighter one. And 4,500 doctors responded in agreement. Newspapers throughout the country had headlines saying 4,500 physicians urge heavy breakfast. Many of them stated that bacon and eggs should be embodied with the breakfast and as a result the sale of bacon went up. Bacon soon became part of a quintessentially American breakfast. Can't believe my love of bacon was manufactured by a capitalist conspiracy. Though these days, overall demand for pork is now 9% compared to 20 years ago, production is still up and bacon sales remain strong, despite concerns over animal welfare and environmental impact. The U.S. pork industry has a history of keeping pigs in crowded and inhumane conditions, with mother pigs often confined in crates and immobile. Pork production is also responsible for 14% of all food sector emissions and the manure from the livestock pollutes our air and waterways. Health concerns also abound. Bacon is high in saturated fats, which can raise your cholesterol. Processed meats like bacon have been categorized by the World Health Organization as carcinogenic. Despite these drawbacks, the meat industry has continued to launch more successful campaigns over the years and continues to use trusted sources to muddle the facts of the environmental impact of meat. In 2021, JBS, a leading beef producer, targeted consumers through their Net Zero by 2040 campaign, despite not being on track to meet those goals. They're also using academia to influence consumers. The pork industry recently began a partnership with five universities to create PhD programs that will build trust between pork producers and pork consumers. It seems that despite environmental and health concerns, bacon is still on the American breakfast plate, and PR strategists continue to work to ensure that it stays there.